why many Christine may miss heaven. The law is love of God and neighbor. Under the love of God, we can say it is common to our professions, when we say we love God and surely we make all effort to love Him. Because we go to church, we pray, maybe every day, we even tell others to do same. Perfect is it not? But we forget often that without man's disobedience, God will not make any commandment. Already all the angels in heaven adore him. At the name of our Lord every knee must bow, for he has through his spirit the Holy Spirit made all things perfect. We have no option than to identify with that perfect state, even though it's only by his grace that we exist. The major problem, we have now becomes the service to the law on man, yes, between us and our fellow humans, this is where the devil has been able to chain us again at the slightest opportunity we humans give him. This we constantly give in. These are why many Christians may miss heaven, because of our dealings with our fellow men. By commission or omission. We are ashamed to profess Christ, or pray in crowded place of unbelievers. Other religions are proud of their religion, but we shy away. Sister why do you hide your faith? Just because of man? You have omitted Christ. God becomes second in priority. If mortal Muhammad can vow to take the Quran to the sea, why can't Christians take theirs to the heavens? Epileptic unity. We claim we are one, but we point accusing fingers on same body of Christ. Stop criticizing any other church after all, Catholicism was the first church. Yet the love and grace of God knows no bound. Christians discriminate among themselves, church group love following the selfish vision of some selfish founders, who would never dare to seek fresh converts into Christianity from within Islamic holds or early Juns, but wins clients as members. Of course weep members from other Christian bodies. Remember my brother, by his death, we all are made one in Jesus Christ. Lie is our next nature. See how Christians influence trade and business on holidays of obligation like Sundays, Easter, perfect, because we lock up our shops, and everywhere looks calm. But the next day we lie at business. We sell the fake in place of the superior quality, brother why? You point out the exact loophole where a fellow Christian will fall, all due to unhealthy business competition, are you now happy? Workers right. Our employees have no right, we lie to them, we rob them off their privileges because we decide their fate. We trample on their privacies, and for us, their salaries could be used to increase our publicity stunts as, generous donors to the church. God cannot be mocked. We time God to serve men. At cinema, we are ready to spend good time watching numerous films, social functions, we spend quality time merrymenting but two to three hours for God after seven days or thirty minutes every day for prayers and biblical reflections seems an unbearable load on our back. God's words is in the church not at home or offices. After every Sunday sermon, we clap for the preachers because all he said we know already, in fact maybe he told us what we wanted to hear. Some preachers would dare not throw the people's sin at them by preaching salvation. Why would the man of God's want his collection pocket to shrink? No, tell them all about prosperity or giving their life some good value, so that they all go home empty, carrying Christ neither to the offices or home. I see you, what a Christian he or she is. We help those who can help us. Of course if we don't rob Peter to pay Paul, are we not saints enough? Then it's okay helping only those who can pay back someday? Remember, almsgiving is not from your surplus, no, every charity must inconvenience you. That is what makes it a sacrifice. This is why nobody is so poor that he cannot give out something, no matter how little. God knows Christian brother. Distant heart with perfect lips service. This is why we tell others lie, we end up putting the wrong people in power. Then we have no right anymore as they must lord evil principles over us, because iniquity has covered our mouths. You who sell your souls for peanuts, shall turn into monkeys to enjoy the nuts in hell. 
unselfish priority. Hear me O oh sister, anything you learn from the church that cannot be narrowed down to create a healthy coexistence for you and your neighbor, you are nothing but a hollow Christian. Your fellow humans are of God you can see. Where are the public funds? Today Christian will tell you by his action that it does not matter, to misappropriate founds, sorry, the ethical values holds it to be stealing, man you stole any time you use public funds unaccounted for, for a selfish reason. My man you are like any other killed thief. Tell me are Christians free of this? Yet the honorables donate to churches and preachers and pastors preach what they want to hear. And to reciprocate their kindness, we flock their celebrations like a swan of bees. Where is the church fund? Of course a laborer deserves his wages, so why would not a Christian send to represent the church give an accurate account of whatever he or she did for the body of Christ by any means? That is why to build a church is the most expensive things to do, as half of the money goes to helping pockets. Hey don't think far who they are, some of them are the donors, who give only to cart away more than doubled what they donated. Compassion to please oneself. These Christians, claim they want to help you but in actual fact, it's all to create popularity. The prefer to take you to bars and give you enough alcoholic drinks, you get intustigated, only to face your challenges more because a day without solution has been wasted. If you like this video please click the button below to share, like and subscribe to our channel, and you will be receiving this on daily basis. We appreciate you as you subscribe and share.